India is now likely to export uh, hydrochloroquine. Uh, a formal decision in this uh, regard is likely to be taken tomorrow. The go government today, remember, held an inter-ministerial meeting yesterday and will be meeting later today as well to assess the domestic consumption requirement for the anti-malaria drug. India, remember, is one of the largest manufacturers of uh, hydrochloroquine. The health ministry will be assessing its stock requirements in India and then will submit a report to the group of ministers on what the domestic stock is, vis-a-vis -vis what the requirement is to be able to determine whether the Indian government is going to go ahead with the export of the drug or not. Uh, Joining us on the broadcast is uh, my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhu. Sunil, an assessment is uh, going to be made on what India's current capacity is as far as the hydrochloroquine is concerned. What is our current manufacturing capacity vis-a-vis -vis the consumption to determine whether or not we're going to be uh, exporting the drug? Well, I think uh, that uh, decision has been left to the health ministry and they will report uh, to the uh, empowered group of ministers uh, the domestic uh, production that is uh, required, uh, the uh, decision that was taken yesterday, the interim ministerial, is that the health ministry will report what is the domestic stock uh, that is required, what is the domestic consumption that is uh, required, plus 25% as a buffer stock. Uh, so once that requirement is made, uh, they will be in a position to export those drugs. Uh, it will not be a carte planche uh, export, it will be on a case-to-case -case basis. Uh, based on the Ministry of External Affairs assessment on the friendly relationships uh, of those foreign countries who have requested. Uh, the United States, as you're well aware, has stopped the list with Donald Trump himself speaking to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And that uh, uh, friendly relations will be invoked uh, uh, when that uh, decision is taken tomorrow uh, by an impartial group of ministers uh, by, uh, headed by Mr. the Defence Minister, Mr. Rajnath Singh. Having said that, uh, there is a requirement of the API, which is an active pharmaceutical ingredient, uh, which is exported from the imported from Ch China. There is already a shipment here in India, uh, and they have been able to assess that situation. So there is adequate stock uh, uh, given uh, the constraints that uh, you know many people are looking at this uh, new anti-malaria drug. India is the largest manufacturer as a possible uh, cure uh, for COVID, though it has not been uh, by any authority uh, accepted so far, except that it is. Uh, really something to help a patient who's suffering from it. So it's in that backdrop uh, that uh, after USA, uh, countries like Brazil, Spain and others have put in requests uh, and the Ministry of External Affairs on a case-to-case -case basis, depending on the friendly relationship with the country, uh, will allow uh, that export of that anti-malaria drug.